1995, when mom was, when she was diagnosed with bone cancer, I remember being in Miami and being really frustrated. This shouldn't happen. Jim and I get together in Texas, become really good friends at the time, and we're sitting around a table in my old house. We're both upset, we're frustrated by this. His dad's diagnosed with lung cancer, and we're like, we gotta do something. And Mo and I both, as we look at our parents, they were our heroes and our mentors and our best friends. We really just wanted to do something to give back. Why? I wanna know how. I wanna feel hope like you must feel now. Whatever it takes, get me out of my skin. If I have to break down just to feel again. First year was 100 people, we raised about $30,000. And as you look now with all the different events, you know, we're gonna raise over $400,000, $450,000. This year we we'll probably have 2,000 people at all the different events. this to be a huge event with multiple things going on that can draw in different you know, parts of the community. And what led us to Cure Search is Jim and I both felt passionate about doing something for kids. Passion for families and passion to impact kids that are going through things a lot worse than us. That's, that's really what we're so excited about. And thanks to you guys, one day we are going to find a cure for childhood cancer. Every day, 36 children are diagnosed, and hopefully one day soon, no child ever has to hear that they have cancer. Their parents won't have to hear it. Nobody will have to go through this terrible disease alone. You know, the event is about curing cancer in kids. The event is about how do we use, you know, our examples to educate people. You know, to let them know how important early detection is. I mean, through everything Mo and I have experienced with family and friends, until they tell you you have cancer, you just don't get it. It really is hard to understand it unless you're sitting in front of the doctor and they say you have melanoma or you have prostate cancer. Here's the prognosis, here's the plan. And so I think now when we talk to people, it will have a lot more impact. How blessed are we that two clowns like us that had no clue and have had the support to build this thing into the event that it's becoming. It's not what it is, it's what it can get to. So that journey doesn't stop.